Hey everyone, Glela Yule and Merry Christmas. To get December started off, I am going to be taste testing some of Carletti's delicious Christmas candies and letting you know what I think. Stay tuned for that. Come along as my Danish husband and our two sons show this American what it's like to live a life in Denmark. My new Danish life. Hey everybody, and Glela Yule. Carletti Candy in Denmark just sent me a lot of candy to try. It is going to be a very Merry Christmas here in our house. Oh, there we go. Eula Scum. Marshmallow. Oh my. Mmm, strawberry and vanilla. Yum. 10 out of 10. Mm. Wiener Linzer. Mm. Wiener Linzer. They're pink and blue and white. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. That's mint inside. That's delicious. Yeah, I've been wanting mint candy for a very long time. 10 out of 10. Yum. That's my bag. But another Eula scum. This one's got chocolate on it. Oh, chocolate covered marshmallows. I'm ready. Mmm. Yum. I love these. It's not Christmas without chocolate covered something. I mean, without chocolate covered marshmallows. Yum, 10 out of 10. This is easy. Chocolat Canapa. Mm -hmm. It's much better than my liquid station video. That was awful. These kind of look like m ms That's pretty much what they are. Yum. And I love how they're Christmas color. Perfect. I can put them in my candy dish and put them out. 10 out of 10. Delicious. Not found anything that I don't like. This is fantastic. Ooh. These are chocolate covered marshmallows again, but they're the chocolate covered strawberry ones. I love marshmallows. Scumpy Deuce. Eula Scum. On the trees, cute little Christmas shapes, Santa and a bell. Oh, these are kind of soft. I've never had a chocolate covered strawberry marshmallow. Mmm, that's good. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Give me something I don't like. Mmm, mmm. I got two bags of those. Good. Mmm. I, I love chocolate covered raisins and I know I'm gonna like these. Unless, I know. Mm. Good. Sometimes I have a hard time with chocolates. I don't like the normal chocolates. If you know, I like dark chocolates, but all of these chocolates are really good. So I haven't found anything that I don't like. That's great. What is this? Liqueur Tapa. Fruit Chocolat Mel Punch Smay. What's a punch smay? What's a punch smay? Don't bite it. Don't bite it? Put the whole thing in? Okay. My uh, colleague has just told me not to bite it, but I have to bite it so I can show you what it is. But he tells me not to. Gonna do it. Mmm. Now I know why. It's like, it's like liquid. No wonder. Okay, so liqueur. There's like alcohol in there. And it's crunchy. It's not a soft chocolate ball like it looks like, but 
a bit into it. I might need a napkin. But it's crunchy. I'm not big into like liquor kind of stuff. So this is probably my first not 10 out of 10. I don't think it tastes bad. Thank you. But um, I think it's weird that it's kind of like a crunchy. It's like a crunchy chocolate. Hmm. I have, to, I have to have somebody finish this one for me. If there's anyone in here who likes liqueur chocolate. Yeah. Um, I probably couldn't eat a whole lot of those just because I still like the liqueur. No matter how you do it. And I, I think that kind of crunchy chocolate was a little weird. This one is very similar now. It's a rum tapa. So I'm wondering if it's the exact same thing, but it has rum inside. Do I need any warning on this one? Don't bite into it because it's going to be watery like the other one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't bite into it. Just shove the whole thing in. But I've got to bite it for you guys. So here we go. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Help. Okay. Again, that's very, that's very liquidy inside there. And it's also this kind of crunchy chocolate. I don't know how to describe it, but I would say these are I'm probably not the biggest fan of. I think it's maybe because I don't really like, oh, here, here we go. <laughs> Why don't you eat this one first? My husband's stealing my candy. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not all into the liquor with chocolate. This is not my thing. I mean, I think it does have a nice sweet taste to it, but I probably couldn't eat a lot of these. So I'm probably not gonna score these two liqueur ones as highly. And they're kind of like, like my husband said, they're kind of messy. If you don't just shove the whole thing in and chew. But that's, that's a whole lot of liqueur and rum for me, so. Yeah, I'm probably gonna give that more like a six. Yeah, and I'm all sticky now. Okay, La Chris, wait, La Chris Pinna. I don't like La Chris. Hey, if you've not seen my licorice video, you need to go check out my licorice video because uh, I tried all kinds of different licorice and uh, I only found one that I liked. Ooh. So I'm really afraid to try these. I mean, they look kind of like. We have this kind of candy. I think that's kind of like this in the US and my dad loves these, so I bet you he would eat this whole bag. I'm gonna bite into it. Yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh. Does somebody wanna finish this for me? <laughs> uh, I may have promised half that bag to a colleague at work, so uh, don't eat the whole thing. Okay. Uh, nothing against uh, Carletti, but I don't like lic licorice, so no. As you can see, my husband stole the bag from me and he's inhaling them in a fistful, so it's gonna get eaten in my house, just not by me. <laughs> so yeah, do we even rate licorice? Ooh, no. Let's put something nice back into my mouth here. What is this? Confect Mel Apricosme. So it's an apricot, apricot, um, apricot. And this is one actually that a friend of mine, she also has a Danish husband, who has talked about this every time about Christmas and the apricot candies. And I have never tried them. I have no idea why. I just have never done it. But these to me look like gumdrops and I love gumdrops. So I'm really kind of excited. And I love like the sugar on the outside with candy. Oh my God, they're so soft. Oh my God. Whenever you have like a gummy something, um, it has to be soft, otherwise I'm not a fan. This is extremely soft, these are nice. So, um, you know, I'm not the biggest with the gummy, so I'll give it an eight out of 10, but that's probably one of the best gummies I've had. Okay, let's go with its friend here. This is a fruit smay, so it's not the apricot one, but I'm really excited to try one of the, the green ones because I always like, oh, and this bag is so sticky. It's like dripping from that uh, liqueur. I'm gonna have to get a washcloth here. I really wanna try a green one. 
Again, they look like gumdrops, which is something that I grew up with and I really like, so see? Oh my gosh, they're so soft. Yeah, these are nice. Mm. I can't really tell you what that flavor is though. <coughs> I inhaled some sugar. Mm, these are so good, these are so soft, like I said. I think I'm inhaling some of that liqueur. Can you give me a drink of water? Oh my God, please. If this is, this is something where I would think if I wanna get my kids kind of started on candy, I don't know, it's the holidays, I would wanna go with this kind of stuff because it's so easy to chew. So yeah, that's good. That's another, we'll, we'll give it a, a nine out of 10, the, you know. Oh my gosh. This one I'm really excited about because it's a so salt caramel. Thank you. Mm. Salt caramel flavor. These bags are also so nice and easy to open. Oh my gosh, look at that. I don't know why these are so hard to open. Mm. Mm. These are okay. They're not my favorite. I love marshmallow. I don't know about that salt caramel. To me, it tastes like li licorice. Maybe I still have it in my mouth. Maybe I need to do a cleansing. Mm. These are okay. I have a feeling that the others in my house will love these more than I do. So, I'm not a very big fan of these. I prefer any of the other Euless gums. These are good. These are good. Mm, I try them all. We got one more bag to try. Mm, I bet these are gonna be good. I don't quite like these very much. I just don't think I like the caramel. Which is no surprise because I don't really eat a lot of caramel candy. Oh, this is cute. I feel like I tried these. Did I try these? This? Oh, I did. I tried these. Mm, I like those. I know I do. Okay, last bag before we get to uh, everything else. This is a bridge blending. So it's a mixture. My husband says it's a mixture of everything. So we have, we've tried these, those were good. Uh, I've tried the licorice. Um, these were good. Um, raisin, chocolate covered raisins are in here. The only thing that I haven't tried are these. My husband says that these have nuts inside, so I'm really excited about that. Yep, I eat the nut. They were almonds, I think. Mm, hard to tell. That was really, really good. Yeah. This, I think, would be really great in a candy dish for Christmas because it has so many different types. And they're mostly chocolate ones in here, except for, you know, the like crisp ones. So I think this bag would be perfect for our family. 10 out of 10. Last one. Eula Kranza. It's a chocolate crunch, which is like a reef with crewmate. I don't know, is that sprinkles? Mm. Oh, these are cute. It's crewmate sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles. Look how cute that is. It's just a piece of chocolate with some sprinkles on top. But I mean, seriously, it's really good. Mmm. Mmm. But that chocolate is just not regular. I don't know what it is. That's really good chocolate. That's really good chocolate. Oh my God. That's one thing that I really love about all these candies is that the chocolate is really nice. Sometimes the chocolate I don't think is dark enough or it doesn't a lot of flavor. This chocolate has a lot of flavor. So it's really yum. 
So I would say the majority of it would be 10 out of 10 for me because it all tastes delicious. And now I have to try and hide this from my kids. I know my husband has already taken a bag, but which Carletti candy is your favorite? Let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to follow along on all my other Christmas in Denmark videos. Lelio.